bit different that way. Sometimes people don't understand, you know, what kind of a Mormon artist are you? You know, what, what are you doing? Those angels have wings. That's not right, you know. And I have people that make a fuss over that. Everything about this particular painting is symbolic. You know, even the wings on the angels, uh, the, the uh, motif that he's standing on, that mosaic floor, uh, has symbols in it, you know, the, you know, the awaiting the command. He's awaiting the, com the, the, the soldiers are awaiting the command of Pilate to take him away, and yet the angels are awaiting the command of Christ to stop what's happening. And of course he doesn't. And uh, the painting, I could go on and on, but I don't have a few minutes to talk, so I can't go any more on that. If you want to read more about any of my paintings, it, it talks about them on my website, which I'll give you at the end of my thing here. Uh, this was a, a lot of fun to paint this picture called Parting the Veil, the Second Coming. You know, I've seen a lot of Second Coming pictures, but you never see them dressed in red. And it says in the scriptures, in, in Revelations and Isaiah, that he will be dressed in red, that he trod the winepress alone. And so I envisioned this in my mind. And as an artist, I can never start a painting until I see it clearly in my mind. And I saw this in my mind as vivid as day, and it was pretty powerful. The nice thing about being the artist is you can decide who the people in the background are going to be. So myself, my family, relatives. And, you know, I had an uncle that said, how come you didn't put me in there? And I said, only the righteous. Oh. <laughs> I was just kidding him. So. You know, people say, where do you get your models? I use my 16-year-old son. Seriously. It doesn't matter. He doesn't look anything like that. As an artist,